Rappers out of New York in a minute. That he exploded onto the scene with tracks like Welcome to the Party and Dior and was on his way to becoming a certified oh icon God, before his tragic death in 2020. Reports originally said it was a robbery gone wrong, but now a woman who was in the house with him when he died is accusing banned, Pops bro. day one. 2020, Pop Smoke was murdered while staying at an Airbnb in the Hollywood Hills. Both dudes broke into a second story balcony just 10 minutes after Pop's guest left the house. Pop was in the shower at the time, and the intruders put a gun to the woman's head who was staying with him. Retweets. One of them told her, shut the f up, do you wanna die? Then she heard an altercation yeah, in the bathroom. Pop screamed and ran out of the shower, then someone let off a shot and he fell to the ground. While he was bleeding out on the floor, two of the men started kicking him. Pop managed to get back on his feet and run downstairs, but the shooter shot him two more times and he collapsed. When he ran saw downstairs? Pop lying on the ground and screamed at Mike D, who was- How Pop even get shot, her say he was sleeping when it happened and the other people say he was showering? Nigga, they just said it right here. Let me listen to it again. Started kicking him. Pop, died. she heard he was staying at the house. Pop, both dudes, money, a back door in the rapper. Here's what's going on. On February 19th, 2020, Pop Smoke bro, was murdered. Bro, R.P. Pop, bro. Him and Kobe down around the same time, too. That shit was so crazy, bro. While staying at the Airbnb in the Hollywood Hills. Both dudes broke into a second story balcony just 10 minutes after Pop's guest left the house. Pop was in the shower at the time, and the intruders put a gun to the woman's head who was staying with him. One of them told her, shut the f up. Do you want to die? Then she heard an altercation in the bathroom. Pop screamed and ran out of the shower. Then someone let off a shot and he fell to the ground. Damn. While he was bleeding out on the floor, two of the men started kicking him. Pop managed to get back on his feet and run downstairs. What? He got shot and he was getting stomped out and he got back to his feet without anybody throwing him back down or shooting him again and ran downstairs? How the fuck does that story even make sense off the off the rip? Facts, RP Chad too. But the shooter shot him two more times and he collapsed. The woman saw Pop lying on the ground and screamed at Mike D, who was also staying at the Airbnb, to call 911. Then the dude stole Pop's watch and fled the scene. What? She 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 screamed at Mike D to call the cops while they were still there, and they ain't do nothing to Mike D, his brother, his man's a hundred grand. They ain't do nothing to him while he was right there. That's actually kind of crazy. But they put the gun to the bitch head. Maybe this nigga did backdoor him, bro. Well, but this story don't make sense either way, though, so I can't say that. On July 9th, 2020, two adult males and two minors got arrested for his murder. Nigga name was Bashar Jackson. While locked up, one of the minors allegedly admitted to his cellmate in Juvie that he killed Pop for his Rolex. He told his cellmate that at first, everything was going smoothly. Bro, I never understood this, bro. You could have just robbed the nigga, got the bag, all that nigga. And then you could have called him back and again and again and again and again. As long as he lived, he was going to make bread, nigga. Like, damn. And Pop was going to hand over his jewelry. But then he tried to fight back and got pistol whipped oh, it's and shot. It's because he, he fought back. Damn. He was on some good shit. also revealed shit. that the day before Pop was killed, he posted photos of social media. Yeah, he did post his ad. Media that showed the address of the Airbnb. He had gotten a gift and posted a photo to his IG story. Yeah, he definitely did post this shit. I can't lie. I definitely watched these stories and pictures. With the and I definitely like that picture. the house visible. This led police to believe that the thieves was monitoring the rapper online and saw the opportunity to rob him. But now, Pop's- That's why you never post where you stay at, nigga. Once you post, like, say if I'm on the block right now, nigga, I'm not posting any videos or any pictures from the block until I get home. Like, that's how you have to move out here. I can't believe he was moving so dickheadly. Homie is being- did I just make up a word, dickheadly? And accused of setting them up. A woman named Amelia Rose recently- That ugly ass bitch, you should've never been with that white bitch. Recently came out and claimed to be the woman who was staying with Pop on the night he was killed. She aired out the whole story on Instagram and claims that Mike D betrayed his own friend. Now keep in mind, I never this is all that. just rumors right now, and none of her- I, Since the beginning I heard Mike D set him up, but I never heard that she was there, I never heard her story, nothing. Accusations been proven. Amelia started off her post by explaining how the situation's been affecting her for the past two years and why she ain't spoke up all this time. She said she was traumatized by the murder. February 19, 2020 was the worst night in my life. Two years ago, my life has changed forever. Everyone who has, everyone has asked who is the girl in the white covers and why she keeps quiet. First year, I was honestly in shock and my depression hit me so bad. I was crying all the time. I had to try suicide. That's all I remember. In 2021, I started to get sick often because I was so stressed out and my body just shut down on me. Now I realize that I have to start talking and sharing what happened that day and stop, and stop living over and over again the worst day of my life.
Uh, I got two feelings about this, bro. You should have came clean with the story since the beginning, bro. You should have been letting niggas know what the fuck happened. Uh, uh, but then on the other side, I ain't glad that shit is real, bro. Trauma and depression. She seen that shit happen face. Like, she seen that shit happen right in front of her, bro. And then how crazy the internet went. And like, for me, that shit is trauma, bro. So it's like, I understand. But two years is kind of crazy. Like, should have been spoke up. And for the first year after, same thing happened to Kendra's dad in the fast food store. Someone put a gun to his head, and instead of fighting back, he gave the shooter free food, and the shooter didn't shoot him, and ended up being Kendrick's producer and manager to this day. Wow. To this day? What you mean to this day? After it happened, she was so depressed that she barely remembers manager. anything. Her mental state was so bad that at one point, she even attempted suicide. She then described how seeing someone die for the first Hold on, let me drink my water for as long as I say. I cry every day over a person that was killed two years ago. December 15, I met him on February 19. I saw how he got killed in front of my eyes. I was a lot. Wait, what? December 15, I met him. On February 19, I saw how he got killed in front of my eyes. I was the last person who saw him alive. I'm heartbroken for the first time in my life. I've seen someone die. It happened in an Airbnb house. All of a sudden, the balcony door opened. I saw a man with a gun. There was four guys. Three of them were wearing black masks, so I couldn't see their faces. One of them was without a mask. He ran to me. He put a gun in my head. He said... He said to me, bitch, shut up or I'll kill you. I was in bed. He took my bag with my passport and my phone. Three of them ran to pop, got him out of the bathroom. I remember how he screamed, what? We looked into each other's eyes and did not understand what happened, and we were so scared. At the moment I heard a shot, I saw how Pop fell on the floor. I closed my eyes and thought that I would be next. I was very scared. I thought that my life would end now and my mother would not see me again. Then I opened my eyes. One of them hit him with his shoes and his... One of them hit him with his shoes and his head and said, bitch, they put a gun right in his heart. I remember how he jumped up and ran down. They all ran after him. And then I heard two more shots. And after that, it got quiet. I ran to the bathroom so I could stay safe. Then I run down so I saw Pop laying down on the floor. It didn't feel his post. I couldn't call 911 because my phone was stolen. Bro, that's crazy, bro. Nowadays, you got to keep the gun in the shower with you. What the fuck? Sam changed her life completely. According to her story, she was laying in bed that night while Pop was in the bathroom. Then the balcony Look door opened up reaction. and four men came inside. One of them put a gun to her head, stole her bag with her it phone and passport, Nishi. and threatened to kill her if she ain't shut up. The other three dudes, and she locked eyes with them, way quiet. She was about to run to the neighbor's crib for help, but then she heard a noise. And when I wanted to run to the neighbors and ask for help, I heard a noise. I thought that they were back to kill me, and I hid behind the door, but it was Mike. I said, call 911. All the news that he was... Naked in the shower is a lie. I didn't tell the detectives this information. They didn't tell him anything about money. They came quickly, killed him, and ran. And then Mike D show up after. And thought the dudes came back to kill her too. She hid behind the door, but it ended up being Pop's homie, Mike D. Even before Amelia Rose came forward with her story, fans accused Mike D of being involved in Pop's death. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They've been accusing Mike D. He posted the Airbnb's address on social media the day before the shooting, and some people believe he leaked it on purpose to let the shooters know where to go. Mike hopped on Instagram to defend himself and let everyone know how he really felt about Pop. He wrote, can't nothing express the pain I'm- Bro, I ain't gonna lie though, like, bro, look at this picture, that's crazy, bro. Like, even if he, even if he, like, bro, I don't know. Like, why would he set him up? You gotta think about it. why would he set him up? We would never know. It can't be about money, that nigga was eating off this nigga. So what's the problem? Pop didn't cut him off. Pop didn't say, nah, you can't get no bag with me. He ain't like, what would be the purpose? I'm feeling. I just lost my brother. Y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all come on That's here playing thing about the back door and bashing me like, on the internet. We would never I would know. never in my life set my brother up. It's we it's ate together, no motive. broke There's bread no together. Motive. It's really my mother child. I don't got to explain nothing to nobody. Shit. Mike is trying to make it clear that he had nothing huh? to do with the murder. But Amelia claims he was acting sketchy the whole day before it went down. According to her, Mike was acting nervous and texting someone all night. She wrote on Instagram, when we got home, you were talking to someone on the phone. Maybe you- Mike, you are so fake. I'm sure you are- Mike, you are so fake. I'm sure you are involved in what happened. Your reaction and everything you did that night was so weird. When we were on our way home, you were so nervous. You were texting someone the whole time. When we got home, you were talking to someone on the phone. Maybe you will tell everyone the truth. Who's the black woman who did set up? 
Who is the black woman who did set up? Who are the people involved? Bro, I can't remember. I wonder how they knew which room to go. Bro, I, can't I remember how everything. She then claimed that Mike I'm, even I'm told dry, the shooters sorry. to lay out of the house. <laughs> I remember how you looked out the window and wrote to someone. It is from this window that you can see the stairs along which they climbed to the second floor. Two rooms overlooked this balcony, and I wonder how they knew which room to go to. I'm sure, Mike, that it was you who gave them the information. Amelia and Pop's fans ain't the only ones who thought the situation was suspicious. Pop's That's older Mike brother, Obasi, posted a message on Instagram in May 2021 that said, something's not right about this case. The info not matching and people moving crazy. Bashar, on God, we getting to the bottom of it. I'm sorry the real wasn't with you. I'm sorry you said niggas would shoot back and they didn't. I'm sorry you thought niggas would fight. Yeah, niggas gotta stop saying that. Oh, if I die, this and that. If I get from me, niggas gotta stop saying that. You don't know nobody who's no, bro. At the end of the day, you alone, man. And, and they're not even doing that in death. It seems you were more valuable alive. Everybody gets mad when I speak up because it threatens position in this gang shit. Since you've been away, Pop, people's love have been MIA. Something do seem off. But if Mike D was involved, his motive ain't clear. Some rumors said it was all over money, but Amelia claims- Hell no, it wasn't no fucking money. That's impossible. And niggas could say jealousy, but bro, in this day and age, bro, this ain't the 90s black people movie, bro. Black people, uh, classic movies, it's not one of these niggas. In these day and age, nigga, they getting the bag off you, nigga, for as long as possible, and then they gonna boom you. The intruders never mentioned money. According to her, all the news that he was naked in the shower is a lie. I didn't tell the detectives this information. They didn't tell him anything about money. They came quickly, killed him, and ran. The way she tells the story, it sounds more like a targeted hit yeah, than a robbery. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Top like and Mike D was like brothers, him, though. And no one's come out with any proof that there was beef behind the scenes. Five people was arrested for the murder, but only four of them got charged. 19-year-old Corey Walker and 18-year-old Keandre Rogers are both facing life in prison if they convicted. According Damn. to police, Walker, Rogers, and the two unidentified minors are all in the same gang and targeted pop from Instagram posts. The police planted a mic in one of the minor cells and caught him telling the celly that they was after Pop's Rolex and Cuban link chain. Then an informant was put in Walker's cell who recorded him saying they used ski masks, gloves, and a police scanner to get away with the robbery. Walker's lawyer argued that his murder charge should be dropped because he wasn't even in the house. He claims that his client was just the driver and that he even told the other dudes to hit Pop with a flower vase or something if they had to, but not to shoot him. After the rest of the crew got back to the car, Walker allegedly assaulted a 15-year-old shooter Bro, let's just keep it a buck. They just put it in a form. They put an informant in his cell. They put. They bugged his cell. They bugged these nigga cells. I mean, they still didn't come out with no information. Yeah, that might that nigga healthy. Yeah, his man's helped to set it up for me. Like niggas didn't say none of that. They told on themselves on how they use it, how they got away, but they ain't mentioned no back door, nothing. Like, saying we'll never know. Never know. Shooter for killing pop. Amelia Rose claims that it was a Nigga, straight how up we murder. Know the, how we know this white ghost bitch ain't doing it? this evidence say otherwise. Most rappers who get killed end up dying in their hometown. A 2022 report found that at least 75% of rappers killed since 1987 was murdered in the city they grew up in. This data makes it seem more likely that the murder was a lick going wrong, not a targeted hit, because Pop wasn't known to be beefing with anyone in LA. But even if Pop's murder wasn't premeditated, being a rapper is still more dangerous than ever. Yes. In the last six years alone, more artists have been killed than in the last decade and a half. There still ain't no concrete evidence to disprove what the prosecutors have said about the case. But Amelia Rose told Mike D on her Instagram post, prison is waiting for you and it's inevitable. Detectives are sure that someone from the house was in control of the situation. She also implied that more people were involved and are still out on the streets. The cops don't believe the murder was gang related, but some people ain't so sure. Pop was affiliated with the 823 Crips, GS9, and the Woo, a Brooklyn gang that's made up of several different sets. The Wolves beef with another gang called the Chos, and rumors say his death might be linked to the war between the two gangs. The rumor about Pop's death being this tied to crazy, his street affiliations bro. picked R. up R. more Pop. steam when someone vandalized his grave in September 2021. Bro. TMZ broke the story that someone smashed Pop's crib and tried to steal his casket. A marble plaque what with his fuck? name on it was also destroyed, and they also left a partially smoked joint on the ground. Nah, niggas was smoking a pop smoke pack, bro, and then left it like that's disrespectful, bro. No one was ever arrested for it, but rumors say it was his ops from Brooklyn. Unless Amelia Rose actually knows more details about the case than everyone else, 
It seems like the authorities are moving forward with the idea that it was just a random robbery. If Pop was set up by his own people, it wouldn't be the first time a rapper was betrayed by his homie. But for now, the evidence don't support that rumor. Pop's death was a huge blow to the hip hop community. He only started recording music in 2018, and by the time he died, he was on his way to the top. Damn. Besides what he could have accomplished with his music, Pop also wanted to inspire young kids to take a better path than getting involved in the streets. Pop was in the streets from a young age and got expelled in eighth grade for bringing a gun to school. He spent his life in the trenches, crazy. but before he died, his homie said he wanted to be a better person. Is crazy. He was even planning to create a foundation thing. called Shoot for the Stars to help kids in the inner city make it out. He died before it launched, but his family moved forward with the foundation after his death. Mm. More details about Pop's murder will come out once the trials for his alleged killers begin. But for now, it looks like the prosecutors believe they got enough evidence to convict the four suspects. If anything Amelia Rose said is true, it's gonna be brought up in court. Hopefully, so ugly, it'll bro. also bring fans and family members closure Damn, for this Jack, tragic loss. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Gone, but not forgotten. Tell my blessings on one hand, but I'm grateful. When I make it home, look to the sky and I say thank you. I peeked the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool. If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was mental. 